Brother Billy. Hello, Brother Anthony. Hey. Brother Billy, mm -hmm. yesterday I took a trip. Mm -hmm. It means I was in two taxis instead of just one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I went to a, a, a Bishu. Okay. You know, and then, you know why I went to that? Sure, because I went to, it was uh, the Eastern Cape House of Traditional Leaders. Oh, yes. Because, you know, one of the groups I'm working with uh, researching is, uh, is a tape, it's uh, St. Jolie out of uh, Dombasa. So they had to be there because they're youth. They call the youth together for a youth parliament. Well, that's in English stuff. But that guy just went, there was a Ingo Cielo Ingo Bocosi Kulu Sat. How do you say that now? Kulu Cha. Kulu Cha. So what does that mean there? Mm. So I know that's youth. Something about leadership and youth. Anyway, yeah, yeah. Now, I, now I got this because I was there. I guess they had a whole bunch of them, so they gave one to, you know, visitors okay. too. Mm. Nice, you know, got to, I think that might, but here's the nice thing. Mm. Got a calculator. <laughs> got a calculator. Yeah. yeah. Yes, sir, I have to use that. Don't have to use one of those modern devices. Anyway, I was there. And it's like a, the parliament, you know? They they got this thing downstairs with the dais and everything like that. Then you have the galley upstairs. Well, you know, I, was, I went naturally. I was going to sit with, with, you know, with, with the youth that I came with. Mm -hmm. But when I went to sit with them, they came to me and said, you know, some people, officials came to me and they said, oh, you can't be here. So only the youth can be down here. you got to go. Up to the galley, yeah. you know. You know, so I'm going like, okay. So I go out, but before I went upstairs, I'm messing around, met somebody else, talked to somebody, blah, blah, blah. By the time I finished, you know, we finished this, the opening stuff and stuff like that. Then I got up there, and everybody was sitting in one section. I just sat in another section. Then I looked down there, and I said, wait a second. There's a bunch of old guys down there. Mm -hmm. How come the old guys are down there, and I'm me, old guy up here? Here's what it turns out. I mean, let me tell you what turns out. Turns out these old guys, they, they were official talking on the program. You know, now there was like the keynote speaker, he is an old guy. Then they had a, some stuff about land restoration, he's an old guy. Then they had traditional leadership and rule of new democracy, old guy. <laughs> traditional male initiation. Old guy, so all these old guys are talking to the to the youth. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a youth parliament or a youth congress, mm -hmm. but I guess I was wrong. But let me show you. So I, I actually have a question. I'm going like, oh my brain. I wrote it down because I write, you know. And I wrote just as a, as a note to myself: the usual older folks talking at you. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, like that. And it took a long time with this. So you know how those old guys talk a long time. Anyway, when they got down to things, then finally, you know, they went through the program. They, uh, they went through the program, and they had a little, then they had the discussion, the question and answer. So, the, well, I guess the guy that they wasn't that old, but he was pretty old. He was, you know, late 30s. He was, you know, and he takes a bunch of questions from the youth. And then these old guys are supposed to answer. Mm -hmm. So they take an answer. You know, so you get four or five questions, they answer, you know, da, 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 da. Then there's one side of them, then they did the other side of them where, 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 my, where my youth group was sitting. So one of my youth group guys, he asked, he asked them a question. He said, hey, what about reparations? Shouldn't we go to England and get the queen to give up all that stuff that they took from, from us or whatever happened? Guess what? The old guy didn't answer the question. Hmm. He said he went on talking about, you know, oh, you know, according to the Constitution. I'm like, wait a second, that wasn't the question. See, the first thing you learn in communication, let me tell you, is there's reading, you know, there's writing, right? There's speaking, but here's what everybody misses. There's also listening. And this guy obviously didn't listen to the question. So that question wants an answer, you know? Mm -hmm. So they go on to that. Then another one, is it told St. Jolie, you know, youth group, he asked the question. He said, hey, I don't know what this, I don't know, I'm a paraphrase. The question says, well, how could you be a traditional leader and also 
sit in government? Good question. Mm. Now, 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 it gets me excited. I'm going, oh, let me <laughs> check. I'm going, now let me, I didn't tell you this before, but, you know, in my fine bag that one of those guys, you know, from, as he told us, he made this bag for me. I carry a copy of the Constitution. Hmm. So I'm looking at my Constitution, and I come across, I'm gonna tell you what it is, page 114. I know it's page 114, because I looked at it. There you go, chapter 12, page 114. Right there, on the recognition, right? Uh, 211, section one, it says, the institution status and role of traditional leadership according to customary law are recognized subject to the Constitution. Now, I'm not a lawyer, but I'm a pretty good reader between the lines, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Now, you know what that means to me? It means that the Constitution supersedes everything that happens in the country. Mm -hmm. Makes sense, because you know, you, <laughs> it just makes a lot of sense to me. Mm -hmm. But wait a second, if you were a traditional leader, which means you're a chief, and you're also sitting in government, now that says I'm reading between the lines of that. To me, that means that you are power hungry. <laughs> in other words, <laughs> you wasn't satisfied just being a leader of, of the clan or whatever. Mm -hmm. Now you want to be, but now there's a problem because you're not only leader of the clan, but now you're the, in the government. Mm -hmm. That's like straddling the fence. Mm -hmm. And you know what happens if you straddle the fence? If you fall, you're going to hurt your groin area. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. So it's awfully, but here's the thing. My problem is the whole structure. Because when I sat down here, this is the normal stuff. Did they ask the youth to structure it? I'm sure if the youth got to structure it, it would be kind of different. But just the same old stuff. Food the same times, the time, the time, everything's the same old stuff. Now how are you gonna let the youth, how are you gonna youth gonna be leadership if they never get a chance to lead or structure something? How do, how do youth going to be, if you don't listen, if you don't give them enough time, you have a lot of, lot of old people. No, no, I don't want to go off. I'm just saying. Anyway, this, it could just be me. Because, you know, after all this, is, I'm, I'm an old guy. I could be talking nonsense. But, or I could be just, I could be just dispatching one of my dispatches. That's, that would be a dispatch from an audio dramatist, which is me, you know, you know who used to be the arch director emeritus. Well, I'm still the arch director emeritus. Let you know what I only suspect, because that's what T does, which is me, the old guy.